right, folks, we're waiting for the boat. I've got the trike all packed up. I've actually wrapped the uh, front chain ring and uh, some, of the, some of the exposed bits with plastic. So no matter what, uh, even if it gets a little splashy, at least it won't screw things up like it did last time. I'm a little nervous because I think my boat is, is about this size, <laughs> which is like teeny, teeny, tiny. So let's hope it's a little larger than that. Whatever the case, I'm on the pier. They can't turn me back. And I've got my, my buddy here, who's in the blue, he's, he, he's like my sidekick right now, until I get on the boat. He's helping me out. Way to do it. At least it's in the bow and no splash will come. It's a fast boat, so all the splash is back there, I think. Kolanta. Looks like they're gonna have to carry the trike across a couple of boats here. That doesn't look like fun. Someone with us. All right, we're in uh, Kolanta, right? This yes. is Kolanta. <laughs> and these guys, we're gonna stay with them when we get to Frankfurt. In Frankfurt. Yes. <laughs> and, and, in and in Argentina. And, and San Rafael. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That sounds good. That sounds good. One more place to stay. Trying to figure out how everything's going to go. I think I'm going to go in the bow of that boat right there. So, got a lot of shit, but I think I'm going to go in last. This boat's much bigger than the last one, though, so that's good. That's good. Get off. Okay. I have no idea what to do now. Totally lost. Akira, oh. <laughs> Felipe's beautiful. Would have been nice to hang around here for a little bit, but whatever. Got to keep the train moving. They're gonna call my name, then I'm gonna get my Malaysian uh, entry pass and jump on another boat. I thought I was gonna be able to keep my stuff on the boat, but <laughs> no such luck. Got it off pretty quick though. No harm, no foul so far. Okay, so this is a Thailand exit. After this, we'll have to go to the Malaysia entry. I hate giving somebody my passport and just being like, okay, okay, cross my fingers. My, tr my trike is on that boat right there. It's gotta go to that boat right there. I am a little nervous. Well, I saw them load the trike from the boat onto the main ferry. They seem to do a good job. 
I'd be curious to know where they put it on the inside of the boat and what they piled on top of it. It'd be a shame if I cracked a fender or something stupid. Jayo, keep the Jayo spirit flowing. All right, the ferry is too big. That's why they had to porter the trike out to the, to the ferry independently. But now it's my turn. The moment I get on that boat, I'm gonna look for my truck and say, are you okay, baby? You're okay. How's it going, Mark? It's going well. How about Did you get some food? Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I <laughs> this ferry rides go, this one's not so bad. I can see Linkawi out the window. The trike is tucked down below and I've got to reassemble it when I arrive. I've got a hotel on the other side of the island, so we're going to do a little ride and then, uh, and then bed down for a few days. Welcome to Malaysia. New country. A new one's on the list. Oh, look at that sunset. Holy moly. It's gonna be dark soon. I got a big hill ahead of me up here. But it's not too big, it's 70, 70 meters tall. Smooth sailing, I think, after that. I should like Malaysia. There's a lot of Chinese speakers here. Downgrade from, uh, from Thailand as far as infrastructure goes, but I think that'll be okay. The road should be good quality, so that's the most important thing. Man, there is a loud screech. I think that's trying to keep the bugs away or something. That is loud. Sounds like maybe that's bugs. All right, we got 17 kilometers. I'm going to press on. Jayo. Ladies and gentlemen, we got monkeys. They do not like me. They're chirping. Hey guys, we are uh, at the end, 20 kilometers. What a pain in the ass the last five kilometers were. I couldn't get my phone to use the AIS SIM card, the one that I've been using in every country. Apparently it doesn't work in Malaysia, which is so funny. It's like they share a border. Thailand, which is where the SIM card was made, AIS is made in Thailand. I, I pinned the uh, hotel like to my map that is offline. It was the same location that uh, Booking.com gave me, but the Booking.com location was wrong. I'm here right now. This is the hotel. The location that Booking.com gave me was like a full one and a half kilometers off. And so I was going up and down and up and down thinking I passed it up. I stopped the guy. He's like, it's this way. I stopped another guy. He said, it's way, way that way. I, I stopped another guy. He said, it's all the way back to the port where I got off the ferry. I don't understand how people cannot understand. Like, it's right here. How did somebody not, not know? I, I didn't have service, so I couldn't map it out. I couldn't confirm with myself, so I drove to a SIM card place and I bought a SIM card, that, that went pretty well. But then I plugged the address from uh, booking.com and it gave me the same false address. Called the number for the hotel and it put me through to some corporate office. And they're like, could you give me your booking reservation number? Here, could you please give me your check-in check-out date? I'm like, listen, pl pl I'm sorry, but I just, I'm lost. Can you tell me where this place is? Maybe I can give you, well, this is a corporate office, sir. But we can send you the, uh, the directions to your to your phone. I says, I don't know my phone number. <laughs> I like literally, I'm like, can you put me through to the hotel? I could ask them, tell them where I am. Maybe they can give them some locations. 
All they would have to say is go down the road another two kilometers. No, I'm sorry, sir. You're just going to have to cancel your booking. Anyways, I, I finally was able to put it and search the name, which I should have done before. Search the name of the hotel now that I had Wi-Fi. I searched the name of the hotel and came up. Now I'm here. Anyways, it was frustrating. There was a point in time where I was like ready to cancel my booking and go somewhere else. A little first Malaysia drama. This is interesting. I wonder if the whole country is like this. There's not a lot of signage. And there's not, like this island is very rural. Way, way more, more rural than islands in Thailand. Even rural islands in Thailand aren't this quiet. Anyways, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I need some water. I need to relax and uh, I need to decompress. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to uh, Malaysia. <laughs> Now I'm leaving that hotel bound for the ferry terminal. I hear that monkeys can be pretty brutal. His arms are ripped off and his neck is chewed through. He lost that battle. Malaysia is a little bit more raw. All right, it turned out to be a pretty nice day. Just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. Bye bye. Oh, I like this place so far. Very clean. With Chinese New Year coming up, you can hear uh, air filled with Chinese tunes. 